I'm Shra Zan. I am a PhD student at the University of Manchester, and my research is on self-harm and suicide prevention in South Asians in the UK. My supervisors are Professor Nusrat Hussain, Maria, Dr. Maria Panogeti, and Dr. Seri Jais. I'm a member of Global Mental Health and Cultural Psychiatry Research Group and Pakistan Institute of Living and Learning. I am funded by um, Turkish Ministry of Education. So uh, this is the outline of my talk. I will present some background uh, about South Asian mental health and cultural adapted interventions. And then I present the main findings of two studies. First, semantic review and metaethnography on self-harm and suicidal behaviors in South Asians in the UK. And then the second study is qualitative study on self-harm and South Asian self-harm in South Asian communities in the UK. I will briefly present clinical and research implications. So in the background, so I would like to provide some background about South Asian mental health. South Asians are the largest ethnic minority in the UK that make up uh, 3 million people. South Asia refers to eight countries that are Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Self-harm and suicide rate, uh, risk and protective factors differ across ethnic minorities in the UK. Office of National Statistics didn't record suicide by ethnicity until last year. They linked the death registration data to uh, uh, 1911, uh, uh, sorry, 2011 census. So they published suicide data by ethnicity in England and Wales by comparing death registration uh, between uh, 2012 to 2019. So data shows suicide rate in man is higher in white and mixed multiple ethnic groups, while the suicide rate in women is higher in mixed and multiple ethnic groups. Also, we know uh, the self-harm rate differs by ethnicity from clinical record uh, studies. Self-harm rates are higher in South Asian women than in white women in, young, uh, in younger ages. And increased self-harm risk was found in older South Asians. Uh, so this evidence is reflected in some policy papers and reports National suicide prevention strategy for England highlights the need to identify population subgroups with a high risk of self-harm, such as Asian, Black, um, and minority ethnic groups. They suggest delivering tailored suicide prevention approaches. And also there is a growing recognition that psychological interventions should be considered diverse values and beliefs and there is important development in cultural adapted intervention. So I'd like to give a definition of uh, what is culturally adaptation um, to psychological interventions. Bernal and their colleagues define cultural adaptation is a systematic modification of an evidence-based treatment or intervention protocol to consider language, culture, and context in such a way that is compatible with the client's cultural patterns, meaning, and values. So uh, there is a meta-analysis on cultural adapted mental health interventions led by uh, Shanaya Radhud. And the majority of meta-analysis illustrate to moderate to large effects for cultural adaptations, cultural adapted interventions. Also, there are some UK-based study on cultural adaptive treatments, uh, which are promising. So there is a good example of this practice in the uh, last point, group psychological intervention for postnatal depression and British mothers of South Asian origin, Roshni Tutorial. This is a multi-center large uh, RCT trial after uh, conduct is conducting after uh, previous feasibility and acceptability uh, trials. So uh, now I want to move on my PhD research. So there is a lot of current research on uh, self-harm in South Asian communities 
And to our knowledge, no cultural adapted self-harm prevention um, has been conducted for uh, South Asian in the UK. So we aim to develop cultural adapted interventions uh, for self-harm uh, in South Asian communities, self-harm prevention in South Asian communities. So first I've conducted a systematic review of qualitative studies to see the views and experiences of uh, South Asians presented in the literature. So in this systematic review, we followed PRISMA guideline and uh, total 13 studies were included to meta-ethnographic meta synthesis. And meta-synthesis was conducted based on a uh, meta-ethnographic approach. And all studies, um, all included studies uh, were carried uh, in the last three decades. Most of the included studies had female participants who are in their young ages. And our meta-synthesis revealed three aspects of self-harm, which are reasons for self-harm, functions of self-harm, and suggestions for uh, service improvement. So I summarize the uh, findings. So first, there are some risk factors commonly presented in the literature, which are negative perceptions of self, uh, such as low self-esteem, isolation, exposure to violence, including bullying and uh, domestic violence. Also, I highlighted some socioeconomic problems and cultural factors that are major stressor for South Asian women. Socioeconomic problems and the impact of poverty on mental health are serious concerns nationally. However, however, ethnic minority groups face extra barriers due to limited opportunities to ac in accessing mental health services. So regarding gender inequality, uh, that is global challenge for most of uh, women, uh, but ethnic minority women face double jeopardy discrimination due to gender and ethnicity within and outside of their communities. And mistreatment of cultural values are also discussed. Uh, for instance, South Asian families give much importance to education, but it might turn to setting higher and unrealistic um, expectations for young people and prioritizing cultural expectations over individuals' needs might cause um, stress. So second, our findings on functions of self-harm align with the most studied self-harm function models in the literature, such as expression of self, effect regulation, and self-punishment, and provoking change. Another theme is suggestions. So the evidence illustrates the stigma around mental health issues and health-seeking behaviors among South Asians. So more awareness is needed. Regarding mental health service response to uh, self-harm, we found that most studies highlight the need for culturally sensitive clinical practices and more understanding of cultural aspects of mental health. So this systematic review will help us to see uh, what has been studied and what is needed to explore. And in my following study, I had semi-structured qualitative interviews with people who had lived experience of self-harm. I prepared a topic guide based on the systematic review findings. So interview questions included reasons and recovery process of self-harm, cultural aspects of mental health, and participants' opinions about culturally adapted psychological interventions. To reach diverse participants, we advertise our research on different platforms and work with community mental health organizations. So I interviewed 11 people with lived experience of self-harm and I analyzed interviews based on a thematic approach. So main findings of qualitative study on lived experience of self-harm. In this research, I more focused on uh, recovery process. So we discussed the healing process with a holistic approach, including mental and physical health, general well-being, and social life, which are all interconnected. So recovery is not limited to self-harm cessation. So sub-themes are professional health, uh, psychological and personal growth, self-care, 
improving social relationships and faith and spirituality. So I'm not going to discuss in detail, but these fundings will be beneficial for mental health professionals and uh, researchers and build upon self-harm recovery literature. I've also asked social aspects of self-harm. Participants mentioned generation differences in that older generations are more likely to uh, um, limit, more likely to um, have limited knowledge about uh, mental health and uh, reluctant to get uh, psychological um, help. So, but they mentioned the younger generation are more open to talk about mental health and aware of available uh, resources and uh, mental health services. And also there is still some stigma around, um, stigma and misconception about mental health and more understanding of cultural aspects of mental health among health professionals are needed. And also the idea of cultural adapted interventions are perceived as much needed uh, intervention by participants. Uh, so our systematic review and qualitative study uncovered experience of self-harm. So we anticipate it to be helpful for researchers, professionals, and commissioners who work towards improving self-harm prevention. Our funding strongly encourage the development and evaluation of culturally sensitive interventions for improving self-harm and suicide prevention in South Asian communities in the UK. And policies and investments are needed to implement the evidence by providing appropriate training to clinicians and commissioning large trials in this area. So uh, I try to summarize my two studies on self-harm. I have two ongoing studies. Um, there are systematic review on health workers' views on self-harm uh, among South Asians in the UK and mental health professionals. Uh, I am also interviewing health professionals who supported South Asian clients who had history of self-harm. With this research, we will refine uh, our cultural adapted intervention manual and we will conduct feasibility of it. And hopefully next time uh, I will talk more about uh, our trial. Uh, so yeah, here is my reference list and uh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is my end.